Hey guys, it's Scotsman1984, a warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Russian ration, and it's a Russian 24 hour ration from the VV MVD. So, the VV MVD, if you don't know, is the uh, basically the internal troops of Russia. Um, so, these are the guys that do large scale crowd control, look after nuclear power plants. Um, they're basically an army that uh, looks after the internal affairs of Russia um, wherever they're needed. So this is a, a ration that the HUD um, issued in 2016. You see the date here. It's a 2016 ration, uh, best before of 2018. It's now 2019, so it's not quite a year out of date, but um, I think we'll be fine. Um, I've eaten older food than that. Thanks, Andy. Um, hopefully you're uh, still watching the channel. Sorry it's been uh, a couple of years um, to be able to do this. But I think I, I got this just in 2017. I think it was the very early 2017 um, he'd sent this up to me. Um, so let's open this bad boy up. So this has a zip tie um, inside. It's got a... Smell. I'll let you see that a bit better. It's got the zip tie there um, and it's got the uh, the rippable seal. It's obviously got a carry handle, um, so you can carry it about to where you need it. Um, I believe that might be like menu one. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard to translate um, from this. I did take a picture. Um, this is basically who made it, um, where it came from. Just like on a like a USMRE, it tells you it came from like. Uh, Sopaco and stuff like that. That must be they, they must use different uh, people as well. So it just tells you where it came from. The back has lots of uh, color information on it, and the weight, and obviously the best before and the production date. Okay, so let's open this up. So these have a zip lock there, so you can continue to use this bag and keep stuff together. That's just some rubbish. Okay, so let's give this a... I'm... okay. I can smell something. It smells... maybe... it almost smells like apple. Let's uh, have a look. Yep. Yeah. Mm, I thought it smelled like apple. Um, But that hasn't burst. I'm going to assume it's this, which will probably be my uh, the thing that I got confused with last time. It might be that that's burst because it's sitting on the, the the lid of that, but it might be upside down. Anyway, let's. Uh, so first off, there we go. Um, obviously, this is all in Russian. They're not part of the NATO or anything, so they don't uh, put English on their rations. So I'm assuming that's the uh, the production date on this. And I'm going to assume that that might be something like the, uh, the 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 pork fat from the last one. So we've got our apple uh, apple sauce, apple jelly there, my um, apple jam. I'm trying to remember back. It was a good few years ago that I did these. I can't remember if these are uh, if I remember rightly. These are cleaning hand wipes. And the other side is utensil wipes, so they're slightly different in disinfectant. We've got three of them there. We have our absolutely fantastic jet fuel uh, tablets and the, the mini uh, Russian stove there. And the nuclear <laughs> um, matches. These matches are insane. Put everyone else's to shame. Uh, these are the matches that I tested and I fully submerged them, brought it back out and it continued. Um, fully windproof. Unlike the British ORP ones that used to be almost like that, the new ones are absolutely rubbish. Um, so these these put them, them to shame. So it's just a, a vacuum packed uh, thing there. Absolutely brilliant. Love these stoves. Got a little... Uh, Information leaflet. That'll be sugar, sugar, sugar. There's three sugars in there. I'm pretty sure there's sugar. 
feels like sugar. I finely granulated sugar, if I remember rightly. Coffee. Quite obvious, coffee beans on it. Three spoons, breakfast, dinner and lunch. Breakfast, dinner and lunch, sorry. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, I think that's something like a... I can't remember, it was maybe like an iced tea, something like that, because it's um, or a nutritional drink, like an iced tea sort of nutritional drink. Something rings a bell. Um, you can see all the different vitamins in there, B6, B1, D, C, A, B2, and PP. No, I can't have no idea what vitamin that is. Um, I think they're the uh, tablets for uh, water um, purification tablets. And I believe... One of these, I think that's salt, if I remember rightly, and that's pepper. Um, these are big ones, um, but you can see that it's got a darker colour, so I'm pretty sure that's salt and pepper. Um, and another... I'm wondering if this is to do with uh, something that they put in, and it tells you that they've maybe substituted it, or it's the dish that's in it. Um, I'll try and translate that. I think that's a sort of cereal bar, if I remember rightly. It's some sort of bar to eat. And then we have our uh, crackers. Uh, I th wondered if they look different, but no, I think it's just they're packaged. It looks like two different types of crackers in there, but I think it's just the way they're packaged. I don't think they are. They're just maybe slightly less baked. I think they're all the same. So four packets of crackers. Have a tub of something. Another tub of something. <laughs> now these have all got the. Uh, uh, I know you know how the uh, the British and the American and NATO forces use a NATO number. I think that's the Russian version of that. Um, as you can, it's on the bag as well. The TY number there. I think that's their uh, sort of code um, for uh, that labels everything up. And I think these are our three sort of main meals. That looks like some sort of potato dish. Another one that looks like maybe beef dish. And that looks like the same company as that. Um, but it's definitely something different. So German 2014 Berlin. Interesting. Um, tea, two things of tea, some napkins, very sparingly on the napkins. I don't think you'd be able to use that for toilet paper for an entire day, because maybe the Russians aren't nasty and they issue toilet paper separately, um, and these are just a napkin for each meal, and some more information. I'm going to have a look and try Try and translate as much of this as possible, and then I'll uh, set it out and try and explain what everything is to you. Okay, so I've done a bit of uh, using the Google Translate app uh, with the, the camera function. This is basically um, telling you about when things are made, um, like the spoons, the napkins and stuff like that, um, is what came up on that. Um, this I could not figure out at all. If I can get that to focus, sorry. I couldn't figure that out at all. Uh, the OTK at the top uh, looks like open, um, but the the bit below it was just shishma or something, it, uh, so I don't know if it's open carefully. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I couldn't get any sort of translation with that. And this is just your standard instructions telling you about uh, how to use it, basically. The the top's going about how it's uh, it can be used in the cold, it's designed to be used uh, without being heated. Um, it goes. There's most of that is about how to use the uh, the two tablets uh, for uh, purifying water. There's a bit on uh, how about eating a cereal bar can be eaten cold, um, but everything else can be heated up by boiling it in water. Um, but if not, you you can just eat it. So, top one is. Potatoes, I think it's in either it's with beef or it's in a sort of beef sauce. Um, one of these is buckwheat porridge uh, with beef and one's a beef dish. 
we've got our cheese, we've got our patty, um, I think it was a pork patty with pork brain. We have our zucchini, it says caviar of zucchini, but it's basically a zucchini puree, it looks like. Um, so, uh, these don't need to be heated up. I th um, obviously, the patty doesn't need to be heated up and the cheese didn't be heated up unless you want it to melt everywhere. Um, can you melt plastic cheese? Hmm, that's a good question. So we've got our uh, zucchini. Um, so I'm going to chuck these three in. I'm not going to do it, split them into meals. I'm just going to open all it up together. I'm not going to make the... Oh, maybe we'll have a cup of coffee. We'll have some coffee. Why not? Let's, have, let's We'll make a coffee as well. We'll have a coffee. We'll try the coffee. Um, God knows where it comes from. Because uh, trying to translate that would be a nightmare. Um, so... Because just because of the, it doesn't pick up the text properly because of the, all the different bits of the, the picture. So, um, well, we'll give it a try. We'll have a Russian coffee. We'll try our apple our jam with our... Uh, I'm assuming it's an apple jam with our crackers. We'll, we'll heat up the, the entrees. We'll give everything a, a try. We'll just put it onto one plate. And uh, we'll just give it a try and see. I don't know how you'd split it up into meals... Um, I don't know if the buckwheat porridge with beef is 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 what you would use as a breakfast, kind of hot warm hot breakfast. Um, your lunch could be your uh, pate and cheese and crackers, and then your uh, you could be having the I suppose the beef dish with uh, if it's potatoes if it's just potatoes, um, you could have your beef dish with potatoes and your zucchini. So a nice big uh, nice big meal at the end there, and um, plenty of sugar. So if I'm Positive, these are sugar. There's a lot of sugar to go with one coffee and stuff. Um, but I remember the British rations used to have sugar like that as well, um, and then they changed it to the the small ones. Anyway, I'm going to chuck these into a boiling pan um, and heat them up for a, a good 15 to 20 minutes. Obviously, this has passed its sell by date or its use by date. Um, we'll see. We'll open it up. If it looks bad, we won't try it. But we'll, we'll give it a try. So I'll go heat these up and I'll, I'll tray it all up. Okay, so that's bubbling away nicely. Okay, so on this it looks like... Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's uh, saying there it's uh, 2 point... Uh, not point 0.2 litres, sorry. Um, 200 mils. So we'll uh, pop this open. Whoops. There's not any tear thing on it, but I've done that so badly. Look at the state of that. Well, that's embarrassing. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. So there's our nutritional drink. Let's give that a stir. It looks like sugary, so I might be totally wrong with the 200 mils. We'll leave that in the water and see if it makes a difference. We're going to make the tea as well, why not? It's got a generic tea smell to it. <laughs> it's not quite tetly. Um, So it might be a brand. I'll set that in there. Another coffee. So it's big thick uh, granules of coffee. I'll give that a stir. Smells like coffee. Let's give this tea a bit of a shake and get it going. Right. 
out. Looks like sugar. Tastes like sugar. And again, it's got that, uh, what looks like a brand on it. So, sweeten that up. It's a complete guesstimate. <clears throat> now, there's no dairy sort of creamer or um, milk substitute or anything in this. So, maybe that's why they put in so much sugar. Um, for people that prefer it with milk, they can have it sugary um, to sweeten it up. As you can see, <laughs> I forgot to hit the record button and I've sat and talked to myself and not recorded anything. So what I've, I've done is I've opened up the pate. Um, it smells fresh. Um, it smells really nice. Uh, it doesn't, there's no off-putting smell, no metallic smell to it. We've got the cheese possessed. Um, it looks like Dairy Lee. It's uh, almost plasticine-y. Um, it seems to be remoulding itself into the with the other stuff there. Uh, it smells like Dairy Lee cheese that we get here in, in Britain. We've got our crackers. I said about these that the crackers are the they do they've got a weird smell to them, um, but they're still crispy. And um, the smell to them isn't like off smell. It's just uh, they don't smell salty. They don't smell anything. It's a very very plain smell. Um. That was the buzzer for, to tell me that 20 minutes has gone past uh, for boiling up the the mains. We've got our date um, and nut bar is what I, it looked like it translated to. This smells really nice, smells really fresh. Um, it's not too sticky. Um, it's, I'll show you again, it's quite sturdy and hard to break. Rips apart, it smells really nice. The jam or the, the puree, the apple puree, it's uh, quite thick um, and the smell was, I could barely get a smell off that, very very plain smell. I will go get the mains. Okay so we've got the uh, caviar zucchini, um, so the uh, sorry these are absolutely roasting so it's a pureed zucchini, uh, so it's a, a vegetable side on uh, side for the entree. Um, it has a, a familiar smell to it, but I can't think what, other than obviously zucchini. Um, it has this familiar smell of a soup that I've had. Um, so that's the that's the one that had the uh, the sauce on the top. Now I've checked every one of these packages, I pressed them um, and nothing has, they seem airtight, same with the zucchini one, um, that's the one that had this, the stuff on the top. I've tried these, absolutely roasting, boiling hot, um, but they've all expanded and I've tried pushing them, nothing's leaked out of them. Um, so I'm positive that it, there's, there's nothing spoiled in it, I think it's just there's been something on the top of one of these and that's what's touched the air. Uh, the lid of the box. So let's try and open this without burning myself. Oh, that's a strong smell. Very strong. Just gonna move this tray back. It's not well balanced, now, is it? So we have a meat. So nice big bit, chunk of meat in there. Almost looked like a burger there. Um, I don't think it was. I don't think it is. I'm, if I can try and hold this up so you can actually see it. Uh, it nice big chunk of meat there. Okay, so let's try this one. Ah. Right, okay. So this looks like it's potatoes and there's bits of meat in there, it looks like. Um, oh, this is incredibly hot. There we go. So it almost looks like chips, <laughs> the raw chips. Um, strips of potato. And then this should be the uh, buckwheat porridge with beef. 
Now, if it is, I've had this before in the other ration. I cannot open this one. We will uh, call in Australia, and I've got a thread sitting here in the box. Oh, that opens that perfectly. If I can lift up, it's just so hot. There we go. So there's our buckwheat porridge. I thought that would have a stronger smell. It smells nice. I must say that it does smell nice. So there we have our uh, all our food. Um, obviously we're missing, oh, so we've still got it in the box here. What we're missing, that's everything there. So really the wipes, crackers, the stove, the sugar, the other tea, that's all that's missing from there. So that's basically all the food except for the crackers laid out in front of you there. All right, let's try this out. Um, So, it, I'm wondering, breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, you know, breakfast, just uh, this, this buckwheat porridge just sounds like a hearty breakfast, um, if I remember rightly, I quite enjoyed this, um, so I'm just going to have to grab a tea towel, as these are so hot still that I, can, I can't hold them for long, so... So look at that. So there's the the juices of the beef in there. So there's little bits of ground beef in there, and then you've got the buckwheat. So let's give this a try. Let me just smell it again. It's not too strong, uh, not too overpowering of the meat. That's what makes me think this would be a good hearty breakfast, um, especially in such a cold country like northern Russia. Let's give that a try. Well, that's uh, it's definitely not past its sell by date. It um, might be past its use by date, um, or best before, but that still tastes absolutely perfect. It's an oily dish. Um, it feels uh, oily from the, I don't know if it's the, the, the buckwheat or if it's the, the fat of the, the, the beef that's in there. But it doesn't taste horrible with the oil. It's, it doesn't make it taste like a bad dish. Um, the buckwheat, it's still a weird thing to get used to. It's not something I've had before, except in the, the other ration I did a few years back. The bits of beef that are in there are not overpowering, so it's not like eating uh, beef stew or anything like that. It's uh, it's quite nice. I do like that. Um, it's a, a strange, slightly strange texture um, from what I'm used to. Um, I know us Scots like our porridge, but it's uh, it's almost like lentily um, feeling in the mouth. Um, I don't know if buckwheat's quite a popular thing where you're from. So you might you might have had this before, um, but quite a tasty dish, um, and a, a, yeah, on a on a very cold day, I think this would be an absolutely brilliant breakfast. Well, that's why I'm saying it's a breakfast. <laughs> Someone might be like, "No, what are you talking about?" Um, let's try this then. This is our potatoes and beef. Let's have a look at this. Let's get that focus for you. So yeah, look, there's the, I, I'm positive it said it was beef, um, there's chunks in there, lots of potato, it just looks like a, a potato dish with beef and carrots, quite saucy, let's try and get a bit of everything at once there and get this a good taste, let's try that, let's give it a smell first, hmm, that tastes, that sort of tastes, that smells really nice, mmm, Absolutely <laughs> excellent. The potatoes look like look like uncooked French fries, but they taste absolutely brilliant. They're cooked to perfection. They're not soggy. They're not too soft. They've just got a perfect bite to them. The beef. I, I'm, I think it's beef. I'm not hundred percent sure what it is. I'm positive it was a it was beef that it came up. Or it might just be meat. It might have just been that it translated to beef. It could be some sort of meat. It could be. It could be a uh, pork gam bit of gammon maybe. It's got that. It's uh, that color is more of a pork. Let me try it again. Hard to tell. It's really nice. I just I'm absolutely really enjoying this one.
It tastes amazing. Um, it's got a consistency more of a, of gammon, um, but very well cooked. The meat just falling apart. Absolutely brilliant. Really enjoying that one. Um, I'm gonna try this the zucchini. Uh, so it's almost like a soup. Excellent. That's really nice. Mmm. Oh, it's, I, I thought that would be overpowering. That's absolutely brilliant. It's a very uh, mild taste. There's no, it's not a, a strong taste. It's overpowering. I just, uh, absolutely, oh, that's really nice. Really nice. So we've got this. I'm just going to try and open this a bit better. Now the tin has actually cooled down slightly. Doesn't help that I've deformed the tins, trying to make sure that they were uh, airtight. Let's grab the spoon. Go all the way down there. So, this looks like beef and broth. Um, maybe a bit of gelatin there. So this is uh, definitely a beef. It's definitely beef. Um, let's get a bit. This is a nice, healthy bit of meat in a ration. This is absolutely brilliant. Look at that. I mean, what other rations can you see where you get a proper cooked beef? Straight off. It's, it's not reformed. It's not into a patty. Um, proper chunks of beef. Absolutely brilliant. Let's say... Uh, smells brothy. Um, oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. What a mess. Um... Let's give that a try. I mean, look at look at that. I just get that focus again. I'm quite impressed. I'm just really impressed with that. It's a proper bit of beef. There's no mucking about there. Well, that's <laughs> that is excellent. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Just that. It, it, I, I, I'm not 100 sure if it's in its own juices. What they've added to it. Um, it's, it seems brothy, proper, tender. It just falls apart in your mouth. Perfectly cooked bit of beef. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely excellent. This is an impressive, impressive menu, I must say. Um almost disappointed to now have to try the uh, the cheese possessed. I'll give everything a try, why not? Very little bit. <laughs> Just give it a try. Yeah. I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Um I don't think it's off. Just it's uh very mild cheese, very maybe creamy cheese. It's just the texture of it is is like eating Play-Doh. Um, right, we're going to give this a try. Um, I do like patty. Um, the last video that I did, the patty that was in there, the venison patty, I did not like at all. Too gamey. Um, this has got livers in it. It's got brain, um, pork brain in it. Puts a lot of people off, um, but... I'm willing to try everything. So there we go, there it is. Let's give that a try. Just tastes like liver pate. It's uh, not bad at all. It's a uh, almost creamy taste to it. Uh, very smooth. It's not overpowering. I've had liver pate before where I just thought, oh no, that's far too overpowering. It's really nice. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, there's nothing off putting about that at all. It's quite nice. Cracker, let's try the cracker by itself. It's a very plain cracker, floury. I'm not 100% sure on it. I don't think it's turned, I don't think it's off. Maybe it's because there's no flavouring to it. Um, or maybe it has gone off, maybe it had loads of flavour, it's gone off. But it doesn't taste off. Um, let's try it with that, uh, what we believe to be an apple puree, apple jam. Let's give that a try. The, um, the apple puree isn't too sweet. I thought it'd be a lot sweeter. Um, that's really quite nice. Really nice and thick. We'll uh, give our date and nut bar a try. Get that the focus for you. See the bits of nut in there. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's very, it's definitely a dates, prunes, definitely dates in there. Um, it's quite nice. We'll give this a uh, tea a try. It's quite nice. It's a nice uh, sort of breakfasty tea. And the amount of sugar it looked like I put in there, it's not very sweet. Let's give the uh, 
the coffee a try. It's quite a nice coffee. It's not too tart. Like, obviously, when you get um, a cheap coffee and rations, it can be quite tart and thick. That's, uh, that's not bad at all. Um, this is almost dissolved. Um, let's see. There you go. Looks like an off pint of, pint of beer or better lemon or something. <laughs> I'll give that a try. That's a very refreshing taste. Maybe a, a fruity flavour to it. I can't think what that is. Maybe peach. It doesn't taste like lemon, lime or anything like that. Although it looks limey. It doesn't taste uh, sour, tart or anything like that. It's, it's it's not too sweet. Although it looks like it'd be sugary as hell. Um, it isn't. It's really nice. Um, excellent. Well, all in all, I think for what you get, this is an excellent ration. I mean, it's not filled. They're not very sugary. They're not, um, obviously, the westernised rations, you know, the snacks and stuff and the, the, the sweets, sugar cookies to apple turnover and stuff like that. There's nothing like that in 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 in, in this, um, even your uh, date bar, the thing you've got there, the the, the date and nut bar, the apple puree. It's not very sugary. Um, I don't know if that's just how their sugar is, how they refine their sugar. That's the way they prefer it. <clears throat> I don't know, but I must say, this uh, these entrees, um, I've managed to spill that everywhere. I'm absolutely. 100% impressed with this. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's a proper slab of beef in there. Um, this is my favourite. I'm absolutely loving the, this. I couldn't properly tell you what the meat is. It looks and tastes... It looks like gammon. It's got the colour of gammon compared to the beef. But I'm not 100% sure. I think it might It might be, um, it might be pork. I'm not 100% sure why it tastes... There's a, a, the sauce that's in there and takes away from the, the, the taste of the beef. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm struggling to, to taste what it is. But I am really impressed with this. I'm definitely going to finish this up. Yeah, if I was a better man, I'd say that was a pork dish. Um, tastes really... I'm just really impressed with this all. Just, <laughs> just compared to other rations... To get a chunk of uh, meat like that in in there is absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Over the moon with this ration. So a massive thank you. If I can find this note again. So a massive thank you again to Andy, um, who sent me this. Absolutely brilliant. It's taken a few years to get round to it, but I'm I'm glad I have. I'm a. Uh, and thanks again for sending up the the badge, the Russian Federation. Uh, Test there. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the likes and the comments. I try and answer all the comments. Guys, have an absolutely brilliant day. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.